IMAX is by far the best 3D. There's no comparison. I'm Greg McGillivray, and I'm a producer and director of IMAX theater films. And I've done 35 IMAX theater films over the past 35 years. Um, our company, which is in Laguna Beach, um, leads the world in IMAX production and distribution. The goal that I try to set for myself is to educate people through entertaining filmmaking. We really felt that uh, Arabia had to be shown in 3D because it's much more of an engrossing and novel approach. And so people, when they see the film, they remember it more readily than television, but also they feel like they've been there in a three-dimensional space and almost can feel the grit in their teeth from the sand blowing across the desert. We were the first movie to be shot entirely in Arabia. Films like Lawrence of Arabia, for example, was shot in Spain and Morocco. IMAX has proven to be a very effective uh, medium for conveying new places, whether it be outer space or the top of Mount Everest. We try to convey this by actually ha having elements of sand blow through the scene and so because it's in 3D you feel the sand blowing in front of your eyes and in front of your face. You know what you want to do obviously with a 45 minute film is to give people a sense of being there. Very few people go to Saudi Arabia. We were the, really the first people to do large format aerials in the country um, everywhere throughout Saudi Arabia. Um, it took us over a year of permitting to get them to feel comfortable after countless meetings, thousands of meetings, and um, probably 10,000 cups of tea. Everything took a, a little bit longer than it would in the U.S., partly because they've never made a movie before there. The elements of, you know, finding lighting, finding dollies, finding other equipment that you can rent, finding technicians that you can hire, um, just doesn't happen there. IMAX 3D, um, partly because the quality is so much better. You know, you're looking at an image that's 10 times normal, um, and the, the frame that's being projected onto the screen is 10 times larger than 35 millimeter, so it's gigantic and you have 150 million pixels per frame. Whereas generally, most 3D is about three, four million pixels per frame. You're gonna get a lot more detail from IMAX. It's gonna look more real. Plus the 3D, um, with the way that we design it, comes off the screen and back behind the screen. So you get much more of a sense of reality, the way life is normally. Um, where things come right out at, at you.